welcome back. It's Vlogmas day number 20. What? Christmas is practically here. It flew by. I don't even have my tree up, but that's getting fixed this weekend. Today I have a doll review for you. This is my first doll review, but she just arrived and she's glorious. I'm gonna do advent calendars at the end still, but without further ado, here's Mary Poppins Returns. So here she is. This is the Mary Poppins Returns Disney Store doll. She's 17 inches, fully articulated, and limited edition of 4,000. So she comes in this box with a ribbon handle, her carpet bag, her umbrella, some gloves in her pocket. I really love the details on this doll. She's wearing multiple layers. The fabrics are textured. Let me show you the outside first. So there's ribbon handle. You can see the city buildings and like the entrance to the house there at the bottom. The side has more England details. And on the back, you can see that the front cover is tied on with a ribbon as is usual for the live action 17 inch Disney store dolls. I also have the Cinderella, the Belle, and Alice from the Alice in Wonderland sequel that Disney did. They all come like this. The write-up basically describes her outfit and a little of the story. You can pause it if you want to read it. I have actually never taken the cover off any of my live action dolls because it involves untying the ribbon and I just don't trust myself to get the bow retied well enough but I think I'm going to go ahead and untie this one today so I can take the cover off and we can get a closer look. Okay so I've taken the front cover off and now here she is without the cover. She still has the plastic window on that also slides out but I wanted to show you the details on it. It also has the front gate to the house and some lattice work at the top. It says six and over and around it is like a street lamp, which is kind of cute. And there's the Disney symbol. Now I will take the plastic cover off. There's also a window at the top, which is nice when she's in the box. It allows a lot of light in and makes the doll look really good. Okay, so I've slid the front cover off and there was actually a back cover that slid off. And when I slid that off, then you can really see the details on the window insert. I guess they put these details here where you can't see them in case you want to display it this way. Which looks nice. It allows a lot of light in but it will definitely not keep the dust off your doll as it gaps a whole lot in the back. In other news, check out the certificate of authenticity. I got number 41. <laughs> I don't think I've ever gotten a number that low. There is no significance to getting a low number other than it kind of feels special. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. I like that I got number 41. All right, now I'm really gonna get this plastic cover off. All right, so I've got the back cover off. It looks really cute like that, even though you can't really see the street lamp lights that are on the plastic. Anyway, so there's that part. There's the front cover. And here's the main attraction. She looks amazing. I just love the colors and the textures and it just all goes together really well. It's eclectic but smart looking and I just love it. So let's get in for a closer look. The background on her packaging is cool. You can see the mended kite from the first one. I think that might play a part in the new movie. I'm not sure, I haven't seen it yet. But it's all 3D. So it comes out at you, the city and everything, which is really cool. Here she is. She looks amazing. She does have a curl that is out of place. I'm going to try to get some hairspray or something on that and lay that back down. So she looks perfect. She's supposed to be practically perfect after all. So her hat is a really yummy red. It's got this decoration on it. It has a real ribbon. She has rooted lashes. Her makeup looks perfect. Her face mold 
is amazing. It looks like Emily Blunt, but it also looks like a doll, so it's not too realistic. I know some people had a problem with Alice's doll's face being a little too realistic, I think. I love it, but I like this too. Another change is that they've made the size of the head in proportion to the body smaller, and it looks really good. I'm a fan. I still love my Cinderella, but her head is a little big. I don't think I could ask for more as far as the makeup screening. Her shirt is this really smooth, a little bit shiny material with the polka dot pattern. These buttons are awesome. They look metal. I'm not quite sure if they are, but even if they aren't, it's good enough that they look like legit metal. I'm beyond obsessed with this bow tie. <laughs> I love bow ties and she's managed to make a bow tie look so feminine. Oh, I'm obsessed. On top of the shirt, she's got this red polka dotted, kind of like a scarf. I have seen people that have deboxed their dolls. They've, you can actually close the coat. It's got snaps and pull this out and have it puff out. It looks really smart. The belt, oh yeah, the belt buckle's metal. <laughs> that is so awesome. <laughs> you just don't get that a lot these days. The skirt, I mean, look at this fabric. So it's a pencil skirt down to here, then flares out a little like a mermaid skirt, but with two pleats. It looks great. The scarf fabric is actually stitched into the coat further down here. Then the coat itself, the coat fabric feels almost like suede. It's not, but it's kind of got that fuzzy feel to it in the blue parts. The black parts are more smooth. <laughs> the, these are just really high quality fabrics to be putting on a doll. I'm pretty obsessed. I half expected her to have stockings, but she doesn't. She does have these really cute shoes. High heel loafers. So cute. So that's her outfit. Like I said, you can snap the coat closed and do the belt. She's got these gloves in her pocket, which you can put on her hands. That are, they're kind of a deeper red. They're more like the red of her hat. She's got her talking umbrella, I presume. So, I mean, it's, the molding's so detailed, I almost feel like I should be able to open it, which is cool. It'd be cool if you could open it. There's painted details at the end. Last but not least, her carpet bag. The choice of print for the carpet bag is interesting. I really love the old school, funky, floral pattern of the original. I might prefer a newer version of that rather than this print. But it's all right. I mean, it looks good with the whole look. It works, it's funky. I believe this opens. Yes, it does actually open. There's stuffing in there right now. It's got this faux leather piping detail. <laughs> oh man, the details on this doll are out of this world. I'm obsessed. So the bottom kind of looks suede. She is articulated in her neck, shoulders, elbows, wrists, knees, hips, and ankles. I believe there's a torso. I believe there is a torso joint in there as well. I have not thus far deboxed any of these dolls. Just because they always look so amazing in their boxes. Oh, she looks so good. I love her. I do collect the original Mary Poppins. And I haven't seen the new one, so I love Emily Blunt, I love Mary Poppins, and I cannot imagine a better person to play Mary Poppins today. She's perfect. She's clean, she's sharp, and she's funny, and I just think she's, she was the perfect choice. So I'm sure after the movie I'll want more new Mary Poppins stuff. Because I mean, this is, whoever designed her outfit just really did a good job. I love it. <laughs> I love the colors, I love the patterns, I love the textures. This doll's exquisite. I'm super excited to see the movie, and it's been super fun showing you my new doll. <laughs> if you like this, let me know. Comment down below. Like, subscribe, ring the bell if you want. 
And I hope you enjoyed her. Stay tuned for advent calendar fun. Isn't she amazing? The fabrics. I love her. She might be my favorite live action 17 inch doll from Disney Store. Advent calendar time. Here we go. Day number 20. It's a character. My heart, I don't know if my heart can take it. You're so cute. I'm gonna keep you. <laughs> it's Kristoff. You're so adorable. Really well painted. This reminds me of the quality from last year's advent calendar. Really cute. Here we are. It's another ghost. Nearly headless Nick, guys. Yay. Now Myrtle has a friend. Sorry about my nails, guys. Next video, we'll have Christmas nails. Socks, 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 socks. So, on the eighth day of Christmas, the socks Disney gave to me are behind the Snow White door. But for some reason, the trivia question is about Pocahontas, so they deviated from the pattern. Anyway, the trivia question is, how does Pocahontas say welcome? I gotta come clean guys, I don't watch Pocahontas that often because it makes me sad. I remember a part where she goes like this, or something like that. But maybe that's how she says bye? But are there words to go with? I don't know. I'm about to read the answer, so pause if you want to think about it. Oh, I remember. Wingapo. I remember that. That rings some bells. I thought they might have fallen. I think they're these right here. Oh, they look like Mulan. Mulan socks with cherry blossoms. They are super cute and I approve. All right, that's the advent calendar for day number 20. See you tomorrow with some Christmas decorations. Like, subscribe, talk to me in the comments and ring the bell. Thank you for watching. Happy Vlogmas.